My name is Sarah Moorcroft and I'm a textile artist. I first started looking at textile design when I was at um, Amersham College. I did a three year course there, a foundation course and developed that into an HND course specialising in textile, de textile design. Printed textile was the one I was interested in. Then took that forward to uh, Chelsea where I then uh, specialised again in printed textiles. And um, on leaving um, university I started doing a freelance work with a, an agent selling my printed designs for um, fashion textiles such as companies such as Monsoon and Missoni. And I then started my own business doing um, printed textiles and silk painting was the way I um, had I'd sort of developed that idea through. So I was doing different ranges of um, jewellery and scarves and hair accessories that all coordinated in different colour ranges. I did that for a number of years um, and then I developed um, my own sort of um, paintings and pictures with silk painting. If I was doing a silk painting from scratch I would um, stretch my piece of silk on a wooden frame. Uh, it stretched quite taut like a drum and you then draw your design onto the silk. Um, then you would look at the colouring that you were going to be using. I mean, you can work from any um, any influence to get your design. I have a, I tend to use quite a lot of loose designs. So you can either use gutter, which is a more contained way of working, and which is the way I use when I'm doing with children, or you can do a looser way of working, which is using um, just the dyes straight onto the silk and you can use a hairdryer to stop the silk from flowing and you can use um, alcohol to um, allow the colours to sort of sp spread and blend more and you can get some quite interesting effects. So you can get quite an organic way of working which isn't quite so prescriptive um, but it offers you um, a lot of blending, a lot of colour mixing so it's quite an exciting way of working.